okay uh, so far we have discussed the uh, lane addressing uh, that is uh, uh, lane addressing in ARP protocol so now we are going to discuss Ethernet okay so basically as we know that at the transport layer we discussed uh, several protocol uh, we discussed generally that how transport layer work and then we discuss some protocol that are used at the transport layer for example TCP and UDP similarly at the uh, application layer we discuss generally how the application layer protocol should be designed and then we discuss some protocols for example HTTP and DNS protocol that are used in practice similarly at the network layer we discuss generally what how the functionality of network layer should be achieved and then we discuss the IP protocol here now at the data link layer we discuss how the error uh, checking can be achieved what are the multiple access protocols possibly can be used at, at the data link layer so now we are going to discuss a standard protocol this is called ethernet it is used at the data link layer so we are going to discuss that how ethernet uh, use uh, access the medium that is what kind of medium access protocol is used and so on so this is basically a standard protocol okay so a standard so we are going to discuss it ethernet it is basically a dominant wire lane technology it is single chip and it has multiple speeds okay first it is first widely used LAN technology it is simpler it is cheap and it is kept up with the speed race from 10 mbps to tell 10 gigabit per second speed is supportable okay so let's the ethernet technology it supports both the bus topology and star topology we will discuss these two later on okay the bus topology it was popular through mid 90s okay and all the nodes they were in the same collision domain okay collision domain what does it mean if there is no transmit the data on this link so basically this link it is shared by all these five nodes so if one node is transmitting the data then the other node cannot transmit because this if this if one node is transmitting the data then it moves from one end to another end of the link so no other people cannot transmit other nodes cannot transmit okay so if one node is transmitting then how many other nodes cannot transmit at that time this is called collision domain so here the collision domain is five nodes because if this node is transmitting the data then these four nodes they cannot transmit okay so its collision domain is five nodes okay so we will discuss about this collision domain later on so the ethernet supports bus topology as well as it also topo uh, supports star topology which prevails today in star topology there is a interconnecting device which is called switch we will discuss about its working and this switch basically it interconnects the it interconnects uh, different nodes okay so it is like uh, in star topology there is active switch in center okay that interconnects these devices each spoke runs a separate from each node to the switch there is a dedicated path okay there is a separate uh, uh, link and uh, this use a separate protocol okay so each spoke runs a separate ethernet protocol here and if this node is transmitting the data so so this node can transmit data to this node and this node can transmit this data uh, the node uh, uh, the data to this node so it is possible so it means that the collision domain is reduced we will discuss about the bus topology and star topology later on so the ethernet it supports both physical topology and star topology the ethernet header we will discuss about as we have discussed that each protocol has its header 
but ethernet header it its header is composed of the it uh, the ethernet frame it is composed of header okay and the uh, trailer okay so basically the sending adapter encapsulate the ip diagram because from the uh, the data link layer its above protocol is ip layer so the data link layer it receives the data from ip uh, uh, ip layer the network layer so the ip datagram it becomes the data payload for the data link layer so in the ethernet frame it has header as well as it has trailer so in the header there are three fields preable destination address source address type and in the trailer there is only one crc okay preimbable this field it contains seven bytes with pattern 1010010 that is this is 1010010 this is one byte again the second byte it will be 1010010 third fourth five six up to seven and the eighth byte it will be 1010010 okay so this is fixed this is fixed pattern so these bits these uh, pet uh, preable it is 8 byte it is how much it is 8 byte 7 byte each 7 byte contains the data 1010101 and the 8th byte its uh, data is 1010101 so this is fixed length it is fixed okay and why it is used it is basically used to synchronize the receiver and sender clock rates okay so this preamble it is fixed uh, bits these the, the values of these eight bytes are fixed seven byte is one zero one zero one zero one zero and the eighth byte it is one zero one zero one zero double one okay and so this pattern basically it is used to synchronize a receiver and sender clock okay the next field is destination address the destination address it is basically six byte make address six byte destination make address and six byte source dis make address make means physical layer address okay so when if if adapter receives frame with matching destination address for example if a node receives a data packet okay so the node compare the destination address in the data packet with the destination address of the node if there is if they are matching then the, the node accept the data that this data is for this node otherwise it discard if the destination make address is ff 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 ff, ff, ff it is broadcast it is then it is also for this now because this is for each and every node okay so basically the destination address it is uh, in the packet it is used by a node to either accept the data packet or not okay so if the destination make address in the data packet it is matching with the dis with the node address then the node accept if it is not matching then, then the node will discard it so if adapter receives the frame with matching destination make address or with the broadcast address for example we discuss in arp so if the destination make address is fffff it is uh, broadcast then it is also accepted otherwise the adapter discard the frame because it is not for the node this type it indicates higher layer higher layer means so what is the uh, higher layer or above layer of the ethernet so above layer of the ethernet is either arp or ip okay so mostly the type is ip because uh, the ip is the above layer okay and this crc this is the trailer okay so this is this is called cyclic redundancy check okay and this is used for error uh, error detection and correction it is used for bit level error okay the ethernet it is un, as we have discussed that in ethernet in in ethernet in the uh, network layer we can have reliability we can have flow control we can have connection etc we can have flow control congestion control etc but the ethernet it is unreliable it is connectionless connectionless means no handshaking between sending and receiving in ic 
it is unreliable when the when the uh, sending node transmit the data then the sending node doesn't know that the data is received correctly or not received okay so the when the receiving node are uh, the receiving nic adapter card it receives the data then it doesn't send the acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement okay and uh, if the receiving nic receives the data then data is dropped from record only if uh, if initial sender uses higher layer or retrieve otherwise drop data less okay so if the data packet is received with error then it's tried to if, if it can be recovered or if it cannot be recovered then it is dropped okay ethernet make protocol it is basically ethernet it is using csma cd with binary backup available so for the medium access protocol it is using csma cd csma cd so basically we have discussed like in the transport layer protocol we discuss different reliability protocol like go back in and select repeat but the tcp it was using the combination of go back in and select repeat but here the ethernet it is for medium access protocol it is using csma cd with binary backup rhythm <coughs> and we have discussed the csma cd algorithm in detail <coughs> Okay, the Ethernet standards, they are different. It is also called 802.3 Ethernet standards. So 802.3 means that it is for wired LAN, wired LAN, okay. So there are different standards like 100 base TX, 100 base T4, uh, 100 base T2, 100 base SX, 100 base S uh, FX, 100 base uh, BX, okay. So we have many different Ethernet standards. They have common make protocol and frame format. However, their speed is different. For example, 2 Mbps, 10 Mbps, or 100 Mbps, 1 Gbps, or 10 Gbps, or 40. And they have different physical media type. For example, fiber optic or cable. So you can see that these standard TX. So they are for copper twisted pier cable so there's these standards are designed for the link of for the copper link for the line copper link and it is a twisted pier cables okay and these red one they are designed for fiber optics they are de designed for fiber optics so we have discussed the ethernet protocol now you are going to discuss another important uh, as we have discussed that in the internet we have different topology like bus or star so now we are going to discuss this topology in detail okay so let me remind to you that uh, we have basically two types of links one is called point to point and another is called shared medium okay so in shared medium what is it shared medium a single link or a medium it is shared among many nodes and point to point a single node a single link connects two devices two devices this is called point to point but in the shared medium the a single medium it connects many nodes okay so here you can see that uh, for this shared medium as uh, we have discussed that all the links they don't support shared medium okay for them but twisted pier cable it, they don't support shared medium but we have discussed that uh, the coaxial uh, cable uh, it uh, the coaxial cable and fiber optics they can support the bus topology or shared medium so you can see that in the shear for shared medium okay or for the uh, uh, the at the start they uh, the bus topology was used the bus topology was used uh, okay what does it mean that there was a single cable okay either coaxial or fiber optics okay and the nodes were attached to the cables this is called bus topology okay and when one node transmit the data then the data move from one end to another end 
of the link okay so when the signal reached when the data was moving from one end to another end of the link so each node was receiving the signal the data so this data it was received by this node by this node by this node by this node okay so when each node receives the data the node checks the destination address in the data if the destination address in the data packet it is matching with the destination address of the node then the node accept or if the destination make address in the data packet is broadcast then the node accept otherwise the node will discard so when one node is transmitting the data so it the data moves so every node is receiving the data every node examine the data that whether the data is for the node this node or not if the data is for the node then the node accept if data is not for the node then the data, then the node discard it so you can see that how it works when the signal reach to the end of the link so at the end of link we have transistors which is called terminator so this terminator it absorb the signal if this terminator is not available the, and the signal reach to the end then the signal will bounce back so it will bounce back so the same signal it will uh, have a to and from motion on the link so no other signal can be transmitted so the by using terminator at the end so when the signal reach to the end of the link the signal is absorbed the signal is absorbed so that is, that is the signal is moved or uh, it is dragged off of the of the uh, dig out of the uh, link okay so terminated is used for this purpose but this bus topology it is not like that you uh, uh, that you you can connect as many nodes uh, to the same link as possible now but the bus bus topology it was uh, decided uh, it has the specification that there should be minimum distance between two nodes okay similarly it is not like that you can have a cable of, of size of 100 meter or 200 km no but uh, it has there should be a maximum length of the bus maximum length of the link okay so if you want to extend the link beyond the maximum link then you have then we were using the uh, uh, repeaters okay so so this bus topology it has minimum distance between two adjacent nodes and there should be a maximum uh, and there was a limit on the maximum length of the bus a maximum length of the link and if the link should be extended beyond the maximum distance then there should we, we then we use uh, special devices as a called repeater because this repeater it uh, it uh, it bound it, it basically uh, it basically boost the signal for example if i'm speaking so you are listening but if you are at higher if, if you are at larger distance if you are uh, if you are moving away from me then and and, and i'm speaking then you will as you move uh, away from me then you will uh, you will uh, receive the sound my sound my talking with low voice with low intensity okay so similarly when the signal moves it, it propagates through the medium so the low the amplitude or the intensity of the signal it reduces okay so therefore there is a maximum distance limit okay and all the nodes are in the same collision domain what does collision domain is if in one node is transmitting the other nodes cannot transmit because okay because this link is shear okay so if one node is transmitting and how many other nodes cannot transmit at that time this is called collision domain so in this bus topology the first disadvantage is that they all the nodes they are in same collision domain they are in one collision domain so it means if the nodes are in same collision domain then it means that if one node is transmitting the, the data the, then the other nodes cannot transmit the data at that time this is called collision domain if they transmit at the same time if two or more than two nodes they transmit at the same time then their signal will interfere with each other their signal will collide with each other and when the signal collide with each other then the signal is lost in the signal both signals are lost 
another disadvantage of the bus topology was that they troubleshooting was difficult it was the main problem how suppose that this long uh, this uh, link is uh, suppose it is uh, broken here suppose it is broken here okay so if this node is is this link is broken here then these node cannot talk with each other even this node is connected with this node but this node cannot talk to this node as well why because when this node transmit the signal this node so it moves from one end to another end okay so when this node when this signal moves to this end and there is the link break up okay so it reaches to the end then it will bounce back why bounce back because there is no transistor the signal is not absorbed so the signal will bounce back as it will come to this so the signal moves uh, moves to uh, have a to and fro motion okay but when the signal comes here then the signal is absorbed okay so that's why this and to identify this break up it was very difficult this cut it was very difficult why it was difficult because normally this link is digged in under the ground underground it is all it is always underground okay so digging of the ground was involved okay so therefore this troubleshooting was main problem because this uh, link or the bus it is normally uh, underground and if uh, there is a uh, heavy load moving on the ground then it breaks uh, or it uh, causes cut on the link so when the, there is a cut on the link then the nodes cannot talk to each other okay so this troubleshooting was the main problem okay so what is collision domain when a node transmit then how many other nodes cannot transmit at that time these these nodes are in the same collision domain okay so the bus topology it was very simple but it has two limitation the first was that all the nodes they have same collision domain okay and second is troubleshooting okay now to avoid these two problems there was another type of uh, topology which is called star topology okay and the star topology it is used in today's network okay in star topology there is a centralized device this is called switch okay this switch it connects the the computers or the nodes they are connected with this switch so from the node to the switch this is a point to point link if there is a cut on this node or this link if this node is is disconnected if there is a cut then only this node cannot talk the other nodes they can talk to each other okay so this is so the star topology it has it 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 it, it basically is troubleshooting how it is it, because if there is a cut then no node can talk to each other in the bus topology but in the star topology if there is a cut on this link then the other nodes can talk to each other so this is it makes the troubleshooting easy okay so this is the first advantage of the star topology and second is that in the bus topology the limitation was that the, all the nodes they were in the same collision domain the, all the nodes they were in the same collision domain what does it mean that if one node is transmitting the data then the other node cannot transmit the data at that time okay if the other nodes want to transmit then they have to wait that the first node transmission is finished then the other nodes can start transmission so this problem is also the collision domain problem is also solved in the switch so we will discuss it how it is basically uh, let me explain it first and then we will discuss it the switch it avoids the uh, what it it avoids the uh, uh, collision domain problem uh, the same collision domain what does it mean in a switch there is a table it is called forwarding table okay so this forwarding table contains what that mac address interface and ttl that which node is accessible through which interface for example node 1 node a it is attached to interface 1 
node a dash it is attached to interface 4 similarly b is attached to 5 and c dash and so on. so this table is present in each entry there is a time to leave for example 60 minutes or 60 seconds so this entry is valid for 60 seconds okay there is a table okay so basically when suppose this is a node it wants to send data a node want to send data to a dash so a is the source and a dash is the destination so this node transmit the data to switch so when the switch receives the data so it look for the matching entry in the table so the data is moving for the destination a dash so a dash is attached to interface 4 so this data is moved on this link it is not moved on the other links okay so you can see it this this data it is basically moved on this link so there is selective forwarding okay so then the switch there is a forwarding table so when a switch receives the data packet okay it examines the when switch receives the data packet it examines the destination address okay and the it looks for the destination address of this this packet in the table if entry is found for example interface 4 so it means that the packet should be forwarded on this interface 4 not to other nodes okay so this is called selective forwarding similarly if a dash wants to send data to a okay when it arrives at the switch so switch in this packet the destination address is a so the switch will look for in its forwarding table so for a the interface is one so this packet is forwarded to a so it is not forwarded to other nodes so what does it mean so it means that if this b node want to send data to b dash then it can send at the same time so if c wants to send data to c dash then it can send at the same time so a can send data to a dash b can send data to b dash c can send data to c dash at the same time because their destination is different their destination is different okay if a if a dash is going to send data to a and b is also sending data to b a a dash is sending data to a and b is also sending data to a then it cannot be sent because if both data arrives here so then it at the same link when these two data is uh, transmitted then they will cut collision but if their destination is different if the destination of each source is different then they then it, then trans this transmission can be done so basically it reduces the collision domain because the collision domain is now from a dash to a it is only this this is the collision domain so b cannot other nodes cannot send to a but b c b dash c dash they cannot send to a but they can send to other nodes for example b can send to b dash c can send to c dash so it reduces the collision domain it reduces the collision domain okay so this is called this is the another advantage of uh, uh, we call it uh, the uh, star topology okay so <coughs> the star topology or ethernet switch it is basically link layer device this switch it is link layer device it takes an active role an active role what does it mean that when it receives the data packet okay when it receives the data packet so it receives complete data packet and then it examines its header field its destination and it looks for the destination in its forwarding table and then forward the packet to a particular node okay so this is active it is taking active role okay so it basically when it receives the when the switch receives the packet so it stores when the switch receives the first byte of the packet then the bytes are stored till the whole packet is arrived okay and then when the whole packet is arrived then it forwards the ethernet frame further how basically looks in the forwarding table and when the uh, and the uh, and based on the forwarding table entry the packet is forwarded examine incoming frame make address okay when it receives the uh, the switch receives the whole packet then it examines the incoming frame make address the destination make address and selectively forward frame to one or more outgoing links 
when the frame is to prove our wording and the same segment using csma cd to access the segment okay so what does it mean that when this node it wants for example the packet is received here okay so when this switch it looks for its forwarding table for example the destination the packet is at edge so it should be forwarded r4 so when the switch forwards on this link so before forwarding on this link it is using csma cd algorithm for the access of this medium because other nodes may be transmitting on this link okay so another important characteristic of the switch is that that it is basically transparent it is transparent the host doesn't know that there is a switch okay so the switch it is transparent to the host okay the host are unaware of the presence of switches and it is plug and play we will discuss that this forwarding table the forwarding table this forwarding table basically how it is built up it is built up automatically it is built up automatically so we will discuss how it is built up automatically okay so it's plug and play just you have to plug in the devices and start their run, the running the the switch will automatically builds up this forwarding table okay so we have discussed that ethernet uh, topology start topology it uses switch okay and it reduces the collision domain it make is the trouble shooting okay now we are going to discuss that how this forwarding table is built up okay so other advantages of uh, uh, start topology the host have dedicated direct connection to switch each host it is directly connected to the switch okay switch buffer packets because if switch receives the data the first byte of the data packet then it will be stored until and unless the whole packet is arrived okay when the switch receives multiple packets okay so and the switch for example switch receives three packets from c dash a and b and the switch can process one packet at a time so other two packets they will wait they will wait and similarly for example a and b they are sending data to a dash so one data packet can be transmitted at a, at a time the other packet will wait switch so therefore the switch buffer the packets the ethernet protocol used on each incoming link but no collision this there is a use ethernet protocol but there is no collision why because this link is full duplex so both switch can send and transmit data at same time okay each link has its own collision domain this link it is a collision domain so basically the collision domain is reduced why it is used a can send to a dash b can send to b dash c can send to c dash but a b they cannot send at the same time to a dash because here it will cause collision okay so the collision domain is reduced switching a to a dash and b to b dash can transmit simultaneously without any collision so we have discussed it for example a is sending data to a dash and b is sending data to b dash so it's okay no problem okay similarly if a and b for example a is transmitting to a dash and b is transmitting to b dash so this transmission at this line these two transmit cannot be done at the same time because if they are transmitted at the same time then it will cause collision okay so advantage of switches number first troubleshooting is easy okay troubleshooting is easy because if this link is disconnected then it will only affect this node the other nodes can talk to each other but here if this link is there is a cut then no node can talk to each other okay and to identify this it is very difficult okay because it is normally underground but here it is much easy if this link is cannot talk then only we can examine this link okay at the other nodes we don't have to examine the collision domain is reduced here if this node is transmitting the data then no other nodes can transmit at the same time but here a can talk to a dash b can talk to b dash c can talk to c dash at the same time so the collision domain is reduced the disadvantages of the switch topology is single point failure if this switch gets fail 
then the no the whole network topology is failed whole network topology is crashed so this is the main disadvantage okay so if this link is failed okay so we have discussed it now we are going to discuss that at each switch there is a forwarding table forwarding table means that a address it is reachable through interface 1 b through interface 2 c through 3 and a dash through 4 and so on so how this table is built up how this table at a switch it is built up so for this purpose we are using a protocol which is called self-learning protocol self-learning protocol so it is something like a routing protocol okay like a routing protocol in the ip layer like link state routing protocol distance vector routing protocol that we have discussed so the same type of protocol so we are using self-learning protocol so how the self-learning protocol is used to build up this table so we are going to discuss it next okay so suppose the switch self-learning protocol how it works okay switch basically learns switch learns which host can be reached through which interface and how it runs when the frame is received the switch learns location of sender from incoming packet from incoming lens segment and that is recorded in the and the sender or location pair in switch table okay how it is done for suppose suppose that this node a it wants to transmit the data to a dash okay suppose that a wants to transmit data to a dash okay and the switch table it is empty it is empty okay so the switch will transmit this data to switch the uh, sorry the host a it will transmit the data to switch okay so the packet is received so when the packet is received okay so switch examines that this packet is received on interface one and the packet source address is a so it means that a is reachable by interface one okay so it aids this entry and its forwarding table that a address it is reachable through interface one and the time is 60 second this is time to leave so when the frame received when the switch receives the frame switch learns location of sender for example when this packet is received so this is the source address okay so send this this switch comes to know that this a it is reachable through interface one it is reachable through interface one so the sender and its location interface one source sender address and its interface location it is recorded in the forwarding table in switch table this is switch table so it is recorded and now the destination address is a dash and a dash in the table there is no entry for a dash okay so the table the so the switch doesn't know that where is the a dash what is the location of a dash because in the switch table there is no entry for a dash okay so this switch it will forward this packet to all the interfaces except this one why except on one why because this packet has arrived from one so it will not resend to one so it will send to two three four five six to all other interfaces except incoming interface okay so you can see it so this is the working when the frame is received at a switch record incoming link make address of sending host index switch table using make destination address if entry is found for destination here the entry is not found if in entry is not found you can see it the entry for first when we receive the for example when the packet is received okay then its source address and its location is recorded okay record the incoming link and make address and index switch table using make address okay 
so now we this is the destination address now we examine the destination address we going we going to fi find the matching for a dash in the table in in this switching table there is no entry for a dash so we don't find it so if you don't find it then if entry is found then this one if entry is not found then else flood it flood means forward on all interfaces except arriving interface okay so it means that this packet for this packet destination is a dash okay for this packet the destination is a dash and this a dash is not found in the table there is no entry for a dash in the table so it should be flood flood means that it should be forwarded to all interfaces except incoming interface except incoming interface so in this case the incoming interface is one okay so it will be forwarded to two three four five six okay so you can see it and the packet is received okay so the f the destination is a dash so the location is unknown why because for a dash there is no entry in the first switching table so the location is unknown so it should be flood okay so it is sent to all nodes so when c dash receives the packet so it will discard because the the destination is a dash so it will discard b dash will discard because the destination is a dash a dash will accept because the destination is a dash and it is matching with this node so this node will accept it and b and c will also discard it okay now suppose a dash want to send data okay so when a dash want to send data so the packet come arrives from a dash so a dash location will be recorded because that is a dash sender it is reachable through interface 4 so it will be recorded and next next is what when the packet is arrived okay then index switch table using make destination attacks and if the destination if the found then it then forward it okay so you can see it when a dash sends the packet okay so this a dash entry will be recorded in the table then this a dash sender it is reachable through interface 4 now the destination packet is a the destination address is a okay in the packet so this a for this a the entry is present it should be forwarded to interface one so the packet will be forwarded to interface one not to other interfaces this is called selective forwarding okay so in this way when other nodes transmit the data so the switch table will build up the switch table will build up when other node b c c dash b dash they transmit the data then these entry will uh, then for them the entry will be added to the switch table okay now again they it works fine the switching it works fine however it don't reduce the broadcast domain it reduce the collision domain it reduce the collision domain but it doesn't reduce the broadcast domain what is broadcast domain broadcast domain means that when a node want to trans for example this is a node okay it wants to transmit a message a message a node transmit a message and the destination it is it is ff ff means it is broadcast make clear broadcast each it is for each and every nodes so it is for each and every node so it should be forwarded to all interfaces except this one okay so in the previous case if you remember here it was unicast packet it was unicast packet because this packet was for only a so it should be forwarded on this but here but here you can see the packet is the destination address it is ff ff means it is for each and every one so it should be flooded it should be flooded so if it is flooded okay it's so other nodes cannot transmit the data because 
when if this message is received then this will be sent on this and this and this and this so if we want to transmit the data it cannot transmit because it is receiving this packet it is receiving this packet so this is so the switch it tries to reduce the broadcast domain but it doesn't reduce the broadcast domain broadcast domain means when one packet is sending a broadcast packet then how many other nodes to how many other nodes it is received and other nodes cannot transmit at that time okay so this is called broadcast domain it will be flooded okay so similarly if a dash is received okay so a dash it is a unicast packet this is a unicast packet because here the destination address is a so it will be forwarded only on this interface okay so if we connects normally what we do if we connects multiple host for example a b c d e f g h i they are connected through multiple switches and these multiple switches they are connected to each other through another switch okay so if a is sending data if a sending a to g for example a is sending data to g so a will send to switch 1 switch 1 will forward according to its forwarding table if there is no entry in the forwarding table then switch 1 will forward to b c and switch 4 similarly switch 1 will receive the packet it will forward according to its forwarding table if there is no entry in the forwarding table then it will forward to this link and this link similarly switch 2 will does similarly switch 3 will does okay so when multiple switches are when this host are connected with multiple switches and multiple switches are interconnected then on each switch we have a forwarding table so on each switch we have a self learning protocol that is working and it works exactly the same as in the single switch case okay so basically we uh, we have another important uh, characteristic okay so normally in institutional network it looks like this one it looks like this one what does it mean that there, there are different departments in a building so they have a switch a two switch in a building and they connects the nodes of their department then there is another department it connects the host another department and they are connected through a single switch and with a single switch we attach mail server and they are connected through a router and this router connects this whole network to external network to the internet okay so what is the problem basically we have switch and router so switch it is basically layer 2 technology it it operates at layer 2 at data link layer physical and link layer and the router it operates at the layer 3 physical layer network layer and network layer physical layer link layer network layer. and the host it has five layers so both routers and switch they have store and forwarding capability that is when a switch or router receives the first byte of packet then it is stored until and unless the whole packet is arrived when the whole packet is arrived then the router or switch examines the header in the and the packet so router both switches and router they are store and forward router is operating at the network layer it is network layer device it basically examines the network layer header that is the ip header and the switch it is link layer device and it operates on link layer so that's why it examines the link layer header both have forwarding table and the switch we have forwarding table and the router we have forwarding table but on the switch the forwarding table is built up by using self-learning protocol but on router, the table is built up by link state routing protocol or distance vector routing protocol or BGP protocol. So router have compute table using routing algorithm like link state routing algorithm, distance vector routing algorithm or BGP algorithm. And it is using IP addresses. The forwarding is performed based on IP addresses. 
the switch the forwarding table it is built up by using learning forwarding table using flooding and learning mac addresses so it is operating on the mac addresses okay now we consider the before considering vlan before considering vlan why we need vlan so we are discussing motivation examples motivation example okay single bro because we we discuss that the switch it reduce the collision domain for unicast packet when a packet is received for particular destination then the switch have a forwarding table then the switch will forward that packet to only concerned node not to other nodes so it reduce the collision domain in case of unicasting but in case of broadcasting it doesn't receive it doesn't reduce the collision domain so it means that the broadcast domain is same as is in the rough bus topology okay so it has single broadcast domain why because if there is a packet with the with the make destination address ff then it will be sent to all the nodes for example we have an organization kamset university it has three department computer science electrical and computer engineering this is the building of computer science so there are two switches this is the building of electric engineering this is the building of computer engineering okay so you can see that for if our node want to transmit the data for example this node want to broadcast a packet and why broadcast a packet broadcasting is necessary it is mandatory it is often it is frequently occur in the network why because we have arp protocol dcp protocol and arp and dcp they their destination mac address in arp query is broadcast ff in the dcp the destination address is broadcast so if, if this node if this packet this protocol their in the message have broadcast destination address so it means that the packet is for each and every nodes so if the make this address is broadcast then this switch receives the packet then it will forward to all the links except the incoming links so you can see that like this way so this single message it will be forwarded on each and every link so it goes to each and every one so it means that the broadcast packet it is must cross the entire lane it reaches to entire lane what is the disadvantage the disadvantage is that if this node want to transmit the data to this node it cannot send because here the message is passing so it will collide here similarly this node cannot transmit data to this node so no other nodes can transmit okay if they transmit at the same time then there will be collision and another disadvantage is the security and privacy issue this is the data traffic from computer science so it should be only contained in the computer science department this data should not reach to electrical or computer engineering but if you are using the switches okay then it can reach then it can reach why because here the packet destination address is broadcast so it will reach to entire network it will reach to entire network okay so this is the first motivation of vlan okay now we are going to discuss uh, the so the security or privacy is a main issue okay now what we want we want like this one that the broadcast from the cs user it should be contained in this this network it should not reach to other nodes okay so if it is not reached to other nodes then these node can transmit data to other nodes at same time and the second is that the security issue the computer science data it will not reach to electrical or computer engineering okay another motivation that we are going to discuss suppose there are how many departments <coughs> three departments and three buildings so for each building we have around uh, switches if there are suppose seven more departments and each wants isolation 
then what should we do we should have switch for each department for example these are switch seven more departments so for each department we have switch okay now suppose that this switch it is 96 port how many ports 96 port it means that with this switch we can attach 96 links 96 computers but how many are attached actually they are attached four nodes so four links are four links four nodes are attached five links four nodes and one this link so five links are attached so rest of 91 ports they are useless and switch is very costly switch is very costly so is it you can see that how many nodes are here four four for example four uh one two three four five uh, eight eight switches and with each switch there are four nodes eight four the 32 so it means that with only one switch of 96 port we can attach the all host these are host with only just one switch but why we not attach with one switch because if we attach with one switch then the traffic from one node can reach to other nodes but we don't want for security and privacy issue we want that the computer sense traffic it should not be reached to electrical engineering so if we want these things to happen then we have we should have switch for each department so if we have the switch for each department then it means that a switch is with 96 ports only five ports are used the rest of 91 ports are useless so the rest of 91 ports they are useless here in switch number one switch two switch three switch four only this uh, 32 machines they can attach to a single switch so if a single switch is up uh, is 100,000 rupees 100,000 rupees okay so we have here seven uh, ten switches so ten uh, means that we are using ten hundred thousand rupees extra charges so this these are huge budget okay so how we can achieve these things by using single switch can we achieve can we attach all computers and such that all the departments they are isolated from each other okay so we will discuss it later on okay